uh, video game test thing. Okay. That was crazy. Uh, should we move on? Who do we want to move on to next? Elin, Mariana, or Nathan? Elin. Mariana. That went pretty fast, actually, relative to some of the other ones. Or Nathan. Isn't that kind of the idea? Is you, like, push them to the point of breaking or, like, see what will break them? I only test Zigbee. Nobody's heard of. If you have lights controlled by Alexa or Google Home, if you have smart meters, I probably tested those. Oh, cool. Elon? Okay. How are you? I'm fine. Work's fine. Hilda's fading fast. Terry's... Terry. Oh, you'd be pleased to know. I don't have the locket anymore. I gave it back. All of it. Every single keepsake. Huh. That's about Hilda. Hilda's nearing the end. She's been sleeping a lot, not eating much. She hasn't been that argumentative either. Although, she did give me a vicious scratch yesterday. I could test how long one human uh, being can binge Twitch. <laughs> Sit team covers the vents and equipment and then uh, run it for hours, see if it sets fire. Oh man, there must have been fires for sure. I'm gonna, I actually, I actually want that job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up afterwards. Yeah, let's look up, let's ask about the scratch. It was nothing. I was just trying to give her Where's the scratch? It's hard, you know? I don't see like I'm trying to or help anything. her, but she keeps fighting me. It'll be better after she's seen her daughter. I've decided I'm going to do it tonight. She hasn't got much time left. Okay. Daughter. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> He's doing it right now, yeah? <laughs> Tonight? I feel like you're clutching at straws. Maybe. Beds. I've got her on a herbal compound. Oh, there we go. St. John's wort for pain, Jinko for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage. There's a few other things in there it's as well. Borage. But I won't bore you with the full ingredients. I've got her on a herbal compound and St. John's wort for pain, Jinko for bronchitis, uh, valerian, uh, borage. There's a few other things in there as well, but I won't bore you with the full ingredients. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'd have to check. I have it written down somewhere. All right, that's that. Let's ask about Terry. Terry seems to have backed down since I gave the keepsakes back. Actually, it doesn't seem like she's been very well. Oh, really? Not her usual self. Because you're poisoning her Maybe too? she's got a bug or something. Opiates is the secret ingredient. You think there's poison in there? Yeah. Trying too hard to be normal. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's go it back. Was nothing. I was just trying to give her meds. It's hard, you know? I'm trying to help her, but she keeps fighting me. Start us as, uh, fighting. That doesn't really matter. Let's talk about something else. Why is she fighting you? I don't know anything about that. Ah! She looks too smart. There's something in the bushes. She does definitely seems like... They all seem like they're hiding something. You think she murdered someone today? 
Sounds like she's in the process of murdering two people. Sounds like an alien trying to be human. Like, she doesn't know um, what it's like. It's weirding me out. Yeah. For sure. There's, there's like, an evilness there. Poison? Sorry. I wish I could help. Hey, Seek. What's up? Seeka. Okay. Let's go back. I'm fine. Work's fine. Hilda's fading fast. She returned. Terry's... Terry. Oh, you'd be pleased Did you to murder someone today? I don't have the locket anymore. I gave it back. All of it. Let's ask her with the keepsakes. You told me to. Well, not in so many words, but you said I shouldn't have kept them. And what with Terry going around telling everyone I stole them, I didn't feel like I really had any choice. The locket, the watch, the ring. But I kept the little bird Sarah Decker gave me. I wasn't supposed to mention her. Oh! Oh! Sarah Decker! Yeah, um, there's like five different people that could be the murderer, I guess. From what I heard. Gotta go to lunch. Okay, see you, Miro. Sarah Decker. Oh my god. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, How did Dr. Decker mother Dr. Decker's mother die. Is that really what you want to talk about? Yes, I want to talk about that. Ugh. Oh. Oh. She she was she was uh helping Dr. Decker's mother. Crafty mutt. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. How do I follow up on that? Oh, how did Sarah die? Ask me something else. That one's a dud. Ooh, well, what do I ask her? <laughs> this is so frustrating. Obviously, if this is a real person, I could just ask her. How did Sarah take her die? She would understand, but I have to like, I have to like think of exactly. Yeah, well, they have a hint system, so it's like. I mean, she already answered that. Is she going to? Is she going to shift into Hilda's daughter tonight? But I want to follow up on this. This is kind of what we've been talking about the whole time, yes, Milk. It's like, at what point should it just be like dialogue choices as opposed to like typing stuff out because it gets frustrating? What did she? How did she die? I don't know anything about. Uh, ask me something. Uh, what did Sarah die of? I don't know. Um, fuck. Did you help Sarah? I feel like you're clutching at straws. Mother. Sorry, I wish... The bird? It was just a little china bird, sort of. I just want a yellowy blue pattern on it. I don't think it's worth anything. So something else. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. Number of act, uh, the number of the actors in color invite out. I can't remember Oh, there we exactly. go, there we go. I'd only just started seeing Dr. Decker. There's more though. Oh well, I guess I guess she answered that. Is this the bird he murdered earlier? No, no, no. Different bird. I didn't kill any birds. Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. 
Shit. All right, I'm going to have to stew on this. Let's ask about the paper spike. It's true then. I'd heard Dr. Decker was stabbed, but I didn't know for sure. It's weird. That whoever did it would choose the paper spike. Why is that weird? Dr. Decker used to play with it in our sessions sometimes. You know, pick it up, handle it while we talked. I remember once... He pushed the spike through his skin. Yet this bit, here, between his thumb and his finger. He said he didn't think I'd mind the sight of blood being a nurse and all that, but actually, there wasn't any. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. Uh, paper spike is, they use them in, uh, they use them in, uh, like, restaurants in particular. They take, like, an uh, order, write down the order, give it to the uh, kitchen, they make it, and then when they're done with it, they, like, puncture the piece of paper on a spike. So it's just, like, it's just what it sounds like. It's a spike that you can, like, puncture paper onto three glasses of port whoa damn <laughs> you don't have to apologize oh everyone's getting drunk credfield welcome they can't be crazy i don't i don't know could be some mass delusion Oh, there was this whole thing about, uh, like, disciples and all that stuff from last time that I forgot about. That's what Mariana, I think, was talking about. No, no, that was Jaya. Jaya was talking about, like, maybe we should go back to that. Um, the psychokinesis stuff. No. Not at all in my experience. Dr. Decker had an unusual number of patients who claimed psychokinesis. Either he'd been specifically looking for them or someone had been sending them. And, uh, what was... Psychokinesis is the ability to change the physical world without actually touching Friday night, it, party just three. by using Woo. your mind. It's not Get just about bending spoons. Only four for it me. It covers all sorts of things, like... Telepathy, telekinesis, telesabalas. Bad Shoot joke. me, I'm a Kojak fan. Uh, and then there was there was this thing about Is it this? Yes, psychology. I think you'll find it's relevant, Doctor. <laughs> Maybe it was the previous one. There was something about like they had a common, her and Dr. Decker had like a common, common thoughts about psychology and something to do with like, he's like leading a group of followers or something like that. I actually don't, I don't drink, I used to drink a lot, but I don't really drink anymore. Psychokinesis, that's it, right? You haven't seen Jaya yet, okay. Is everyone's slowly get drunk in chat. <laughs> the cuttlefish porn is gonna be flying left, right, and center. The saying uh keen beer vor vor in German means to not not drink before 4 p.m. <laughs> drink some sugar. Hello. I've never, yeah, I've never heard that before. I like that one though. Okay. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they react. But it wasn't. The spike was real. Okay, uh, real. That doesn't really matter. Let's talk about some- Test. 
I don't know. Sorry. Ah! <sighs> Trying to watch two streams at once. Uh, there is, um, you can use the multi-stream. Uh, I've just... So service, uh, this is me and Jazz, but you can replace Jazz Park's name with anyone else's stream. And that way you can watch both of us in like one browser window with both the chats below. How do I follow up on that? This is really important. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A trick. Is that really what you want to talk about? Freaked out. I don't know. Ah! Ah! I was a bit freaked out. Uh, what do you think he was testing you? Why do you think he was testing you? I don't know anything about that. Spike? No, it's gonna... Ask me something else. I've already asked about the paper spike. I was a bit freaked out. At first, I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and... React? I feel like you're... Clu ah! No, that happens all the time. Typing just hard. <laughs> Her power is that uh, she can, or I don't know if you want me to ask that, or if you're asking me. Her power is that she can turn into like other people, like a loved one of someone if she's holding their hand. No, 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 go for it, Crafty. I'm, lo I'm loving it. I'm loving the drug typing. <laughs> Uh Yes, I enjoy I I I I double up on that. I enjoy your existence. Oh, you're asking me, okay. She could do what? Yeah. She can she could transform into turn into other people. So what she does is like she takes care of older people, right? And when they're about to die, she turns into their loved ones so they can have like a final moment with them. Uh, weird power. I was a bit freaked out. What do I At ask first, her? I thought it was a trick. A magic trick, you know? Like some kind of therapeutic test. Show the patient this retractable spike and see how they... Therapeutic... Therapeutic test? I don't know. Ah! How does she know the paper spike is real? I typed in real, didn't I? Sorry. I ah, I guess I need just need I need to flesh it out a bit more. Doctor Decker gave me the paper spike to try. It wasn't fake. <laughs> it was pretty sharp, actually. I don't know how he did it. He said he just thought I that it wouldn't hurt him, so it didn't. I, did I spell it wrong? It's therapeutic? Uh, no. No. <laughs> um, before she kills them. Yeah, I mean, we haven't confirmed that. Looks like a psycho to me. Does she? Does she, Andy? Does she look like a psycho to you? Turns into other people, then makes them change their will so she gets everything. Yeah, there was... Th people were accusing her of that, too, because they kept people kept giving her stuff. But it was just, like, one thing. It was like, like how a serial killer will collect something from their victim. Yes. <laughs> okay, we need to go back. Let's go back to... Uh, ah, I've got to find something Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago. How did Dr. Decker's mother die? Is that really what you want to talk about? Yes! Dr. Decker's mother. She was one of my first patients, but she died a while ago.
My hair is more curly. It's because it's humid out. Ask her twice. Is she gonna? Okay. Hilda's daughter. That doesn't really matter. Let's. That's the plan. I know. It sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Yes! Yes! Uh, think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Can you picture them? Okay. Hold on. Thinking of Jaya. Gonna work. I had my eyes closed and the sound played. What happened? Side? That probably means you're not gonna die anytime soon. What happened? What happened? The sound played. I, I had my eyes closed. Shifts into odd. <laughs> Imagine if that happened. Holy fuck. I I would give them. I would give this this studio all of my money if that happened. Her face went blurry. Oh, okay. She can only do it when you're near your death, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the paper spike is the murder weapon, according to the police. Um. Extenuation due to uh, exsanguination. I guess that's bleeding out due to puncture punctuation of the left interior descending coronary artery. Uh, soaked in blood, paper spike, uh, was protruding from the region of the victim's heart. One thousand percent not following this right now. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> That's the plan. I know. It sounds unbelievable. Like oh, I guess I can I'm see it. I can it see up. it here. I wish I could prove it to you somehow. Um, we could try shifting now. Uh, think of someone you really love. It might help if you close your eyes. Are you thinking of them? Okay, I want to see Can this you again. Picture them? Okay, hold on. Oh, it didn't do the sound. I don't think it's gonna work. On the bright side, that probably means you're not gonna die anytime soon. How did you end up with a pound side in the middle of that word? <laughs> oh, you're thinking of me? Aw, oh, that's nice, awesome gamer. Maybe I love Chaya. How do I follow up on that one? That's the plan. I know. It sounds unbelievable, like I'm making it up. I wish- Prove it! Is that really what you want to talk about? Making it up. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but I try and keep it vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, it's okay. Don't be scared. I love you, mom, or I love you, dad. But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version, the best, most loving version. That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. Oh, thanks for the bits. 16 bits. 69. No haircut. That's right. 
it's gonna end next Friday, everybody. Next Friday. End of day. It'll decide whether or not I'm gonna get a haircut. And I can donate my hair to charity. Uh, but I also have some other ideas of what I want to do with it. So I'm gonna donate, uh, if I do get my haircut, I'll donate a l large majority of it to, uh, to making wigs for, uh, people that are undergoing cancer treatment. They have this weird thing where you can, uh, you can, like, cut off your ponytail and mail it somewhere. Isn't that weird? I love that idea of, like, mailing my hair somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the bits went towards no haircut yeah i'm just gonna run to the to the washroom guys i do have to pee i'll be right back What is going on? <laughs> Efficient. I got you. I love it. I love it. Crafty might, might be a little drunk. Uh, maybe we are the murderer and we killed him because we really needed this job. It could be. It could be we are the murderer. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I think it's likely to be going to be one of the... One of the patients, though. I don't think... Because if, if it's going to be different every time, would it... <laughs> I don't think they'd make one of it us. It's just too different. <laughs> you can't type effectiny. <laughs> You're killing me, Crafty. <laughs> I love how it's efficient, too. It's efficient's the word you can't type. It's tricky. I mean, I'll sound exactly like Hilda's daughter, but okay. I'm how do we follow up on this? Vague because I don't become her. I don't know what she would really say. I, I say things like, "It's okay. Don't be scared. I love you, Mum," or "I love you, Dad." But it doesn't really matter what their relationship's like because it's not really them. I always do the Disney version. The best, most loving version. 
That's what my patients want to hear. And maybe deep down, they know it's not the truth, but it's got to be better than the reality. That's maybe reality. The reality is that most of these people have been completely abandoned by their families, usually their children. If a mother abandons her children, it's scandalous. But if a son or daughter abandons their mother when she's dying after everything she's done for them, apparently that's just normal. I can protect my patients from that, even if it does take a little smoke and mirrors. How do we feel about this, guys? Do you think this is a good thing or a bad thing? Like, aside from maybe that she's killing them so that she can do the transformation because she loves doing it. Uh, do you think that's good or bad? Dizzy time. <laughs> Crap, dude. I was the old man and luckless killed me. I can't murder anyone. She's deceiving people. I don't know. She's weird. She doesn't steal their stuff. They give it. They give it. To, they give one thing to her. The transformation thing seems nice if she wouldn't kill them. It's sad because it's completely fake. The murder aside, I don't see anything wrong with it. She's manipulating them. She doesn't like get inherit all their stuff. It's just she get. They usually give her like one trinket. It, uh, sounds like mixed feelings. Manipulating them. If they're feeling better, I don't know. It might be okay. I mean, if they know the truth, God, I don't know. It's a tough one. Does it really matter if it isn't the truth? Isn't it worth it if it brings them peace? Tell me honestly, doctor. Do you really think that what I'm doing? Oh. Ah, oh, we got to answer. We've got to answer her. But we want to bring out her powers, so we have to say it's not wrong, right? Good. Because I really feel this is something I have to do. Okay, there we go. I I don't necessarily believe that personally, but I'm doing it for the game, because I want her to like think that her powers are real, because I want to like draw them out. Her intentions are good, yeah. <laughs> Reading crafty must sentences literally is awesome. Uh, I like how I'm uh, drinking port and earring strawberries and cream watching streams. <laughs> and everyone thinks, yep. That's a guy. That's a guy. Guy Gore Sherwood. <laughs> the path. Yeah, you're. That's true. The path to hell is paid with good intentions. I am really jealous. <laughs> is it? I can't. And I also. Oh god, this is so good. I want. I want some of what you're drinking, Crafty Mutt. Okay. Uh, Mariana or Nathan next. Hey, it's Friday. You know. You should get drunk more often. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, Mariana or Nathan, guys? Interesting, like, they, like, filmed the scenes at, like, different... The camera's a bit more blurry, it's a bit less focused. This one, it's a bit lower, more focused. Nathan? <laughs> if I'm a meme, I will finally ascend to the afterlife. <laughs> yeah. You will live on forever in meme history. Crap, d -butt. You don't have to answer what gender you are, we don't need to know. I like, I like, the, I like the mystery. No one needs to answer anything about who they're. <laughs> I 
Mudu, uh, Mudu Kimisahari Ajigeva Gajapachi. Okay, we're going Nathan. I can't concentrate on the game anymore. Find Hannah's 